to Sim Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to cut your your cones on a sleeve, okay, on a long sleeve as you are seeing right there on the thumbnail, okay. So I'll be sharing with you the tips and tricks to making this a cone stand the way it's standing right there, as you can see, okay. So right here, you can see I've already used the, the technique to cut it out on paper and I placed it on top of a basic sleeve and you can see how the cones are actually standing. So making these um, cones on a fabric, I'll be showing you what, what is going to make it stand, okay? Stand real good the way you are seeing it right there on the thumbnail, okay? On fabric. So if this is what you want to learn, please stay tuned till the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make um, this beautiful cone sleeve that you are seeing right there on the thumbnail. It's actually a cone sleeve. So what I want to make a uh, trace out now, you can see me folding my paper just to trace out my basic sleeve because the cone sleeves is going to be built at the center line. It's going to be sewn at the center line from each point to the other, as you can see right there on the thumbnail. So it is important to cut out the sleeve you are about to work with just like i'm doing right now and this sleeve you are going to cut it on your fabric okay so all, what i mean is just cut your basic sleeve on your fabric accordingly so i'll just you know manage what i have here but of course you know what i'm trying to talk about so this cone sleeve is going to be built here can you see that is where our cone sleeve is going to be built so what does that mean for us? It means we are going to cut out the center of this sleeve. So how do you um, uh, how do you get this sleeve? The sleeve is gotten by folding. Let me just cut out. So we got this sleeve by folding. You know how you fold your normal 360. So I'll just use what I have on my paper here. So I'll fold my normal 360 and then I'll make a circle out of it. So in making my circle out of it, I'll just choose my desired length. So, but for that particular sleeve, four inches is also okay because if it's too long, it's not going to be fine. You can also do four and a half inches. So this is the cone, okay? I'm trying to create right here. So this cone, I'll just go ahead and do what? And cut as you can see, okay? So once I've cut it now, next is to open it up. Next is to pick up the cone accordingly. So I'm cutting half of it. That is half of a circle. That is what makes that cone. Half of my circle. So this part now, can you see? Once I sew this part now, let me just uh, use highlight it. Once I, after uh, staying, if you want to do this job and do it well, use your hair stay, uh, your peplon stay, your hair stay. This is called a peplon stay. You can see it is actually hard. So for cones like this, you need to first of all hair stay. Use your peplon stay on it. Turn it with your lining, which is also hair stage. And once you turn it and give it a good press, it flattens out for you for so many numbers of cones you want. So all you want, all you need to do is to measure the number of cones you have. From here to here, I'll just measure four four inches. That is what I have. So I'll just come to my basic sleeve now. I'll start to measure my first cone. I measure from the tip four inches. This is actually a long sleeve, okay? So you have to measure this of four inches till you get to the length of it. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to split this, but I'm not going to split it for this class. Or oh, let me still split it so you don't get yourself confused. So this sleeve is going to be divided like this. Once it's divided like this, you add your seam allowance to sew this cone. So after you have done all of the hair stay, 
the cone you can see the cone has formed itself can you see so the the stain of that will make it you know round this way because you have um you have already uh stayed it so the stay the stay will make it stand but if you don't stay it it's not going to stand the way you are seeing it right there so i'll just do this i'll just do this to form the cone so i just applied my adhesive and i'll just place it right here you can see even without um sewing it i've already started forming the cone so i'll just go ahead and do this so your peplum stay your hair stay that is what will form the cone for you so you go ahead and sew the cone you can just join the cone or you can insert the cone inside this sleeve okay so once you insert it inside the sleeve but i'm just gumming it normally uh, the way it should be so i'll just get another um circle i just want to make another circle i'll just freehand the circle cut half of it okay so once you have your sewing is going to be just normal sewing run your gathers your stitches here and put it inside the sleeve so it this way carry this one then with the hair stay uh, the peplum stay it, it pushes out for you okay so but for demonstration purpose i'm just doing this so you can see how i'm bringing them very very close so later this one will be sewn to this so you make as many lengths as possible as you wish so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial and I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming once again and see you in the next class. Bye.